Hi, this is Don McAllister, and welcome to another Extra Members edition of Screencasts Online. If you're watching this on the free feed, this is a trailer for this week's full Extra Members show. To receive the full version of this show, a brand new show every week, and immediate access to over 180 high-definition tutorials, just visit screencastsonline.com extra for full details, plus an extra special discount on the full four DVD archive set. Following on from last week's iPhoto 09 show, I've been playing with the new Places features and decided that I really would like to add location information into all the photos that I take from now on. I tweeted a couple of days ago that I really like the idea of Places in iPhoto, and with that in mind I thought I should really get a GPS-enabled camera for my Macmania trip to China in the summer. Now, although it's fairly easy to add location information manually in iPhoto, I didn't think manual updates would be feasible due to the numbers of photos I'm likely to take and without really knowing the location. Although the iPhone will geotag automatically any photos you take with the iPhone camera, you're not really going to use the iPhone camera for precious holiday snaps, and I'll most definitely be taking a much better camera on the trip to take higher quality photos. Well, to cut a long Twitter story short, various people advised me to consider buying a separate GPS data logger and use my existing cameras to take photos, then to combine the GPS data from the logger with the photos using an external software application. What really interested me though was a tweet from Kaya Stirring, who recommended an iPhone application to turn the iPhone into a GPS data logger, instead of buying a dedicated device. Just use the iPhone's built-in GPS capabilities. Well, I thought this was a fantastic idea, so this week I'm going to show you this in action, using some actual photos and a live log I recorded earlier today. First off though, a bit of a disclaimer, in that if you intend doing some serious geotagging, a dedicated GPS data logger may well be the way to go, to remove any issues about the iPhone battery life and keeping the iPhone on whilst tracking. I'll give you some recommendations at the end of the show if you want to go down this route, but as an exercise in demoing just what can be done with the iPhone and an inexpensive Mac application, I thought you'd find this very interesting. So that's about it for this week. Uh, don't forget, if you didn't buy How to Geo in the original promotion, there is still a 20% discount. Just use this week's show as the coupon code SCO0186 to get 20% off that. Now, as this is the first show of February, I need to announce the winner of the Screencast Online prize draw, which I'll put in the scrolling credits at the end. Okay, that's it for this week, and I'll see you next time.